वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल माई डियर फ्रेंड्स आई एम प्रशांत पावानी एंड आई वॉम वेलकम ऑफ यू टू स्टडी आई क्यू आई होप यू आर डूइंग गुड दिस मॉर्निंग लेट्स हैव अ पॉजिटिव स्टार्ट इट इज नॉट लेंथ ऑफ लाइफ बट डेप्थ ऑफ लाइफ लेंथ इज समथिंग दैट वी डोंट हैव एनी कंट्रोल ओवर बट डेप्थ इज समथिंग दैट इज इन आवर हैंड एज फार एज लाइफ इज कंसर्न वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आर्टिकल ऑन योर स्क्रीन दिस वन इज अबाउट वाई वी नीड गवर्नर ए पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक ऑन विच यू मे फाइंड अ डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन in your mains examination this one is about uh, lynching that is going on whatsapp and what's uh, the role of local administration this one is about india and usa's bilateral relationship that we find uh, not uh, in good shape at present uh, this one is about a um, maestro a legend uh, right uh, help yourself with this one as far as uh, your exams are concerned it's not uh, a direct or it's not a topic on which you find questions but a quick glance is uh it's fine right it's not going to be harmful at all to you so have a quick glance over it and this one is about india's foreign policy today is friday so we find this article yes no and it's complicated uh, dear friends i have uh, got many questions from you guys your queries so what i have decided that tomorrow we don't have that many articles isn't it on sunday uh, on saturday so hopefully tomorrow or maybe on sunday i will take couple of important questions when i say important i mean to say common queries right uh, that you find uh, uh, with the different uh, students so i will try to take them on board and we'll have a brief discussion about how to prepare and how to prepare for international news and other questions and this one is about uh, cambodia With this dear friends I have a good news for you up to 50% discount is available on our pen drive and tablet courses this is going to last till 9th of July only so you have got literally 4 uh, days to go same thing applies to our test series as well on 10th of July the first test series will be launched registrations are open now get it asap uh, I will share the pdf of this lecture on my facebook page and twitter handle please make sure that you too share this lecture with other people and don't forget to hit the like button if you learn something from today's discussion now the interesting title of this particular editorial is passing the buck that means uh, government has you know passed this responsibility or finally blamed whatsapp for this lynching incidents uh, that are going on in our country the sad part is that without any basis right uh, people or you can say this mobs are uh, are killing uh, the suspect and uh, you can say the talk of the town or the rumor in the air is that there are people uh, right or there are few groups uh, small groups uh, who are child lifters uh, they will come and lift your child and they will sell your child in the market of course for uh, harvesting their important body organs like kidneys and hearts and eyes and other things so this thing is or a rumor is going around and of course nowadays you know that uh, we have this whatsapp and social uh, networking sites and other digital platforms so they do help right uh, in passing uh, you know important information at the same time they also you know the the negative side of this uh, social media or this sort of digital platforms is that uh, they also help in in this uh, or they in fact work as a fuel uh, uh, to spread this rumor so this is a very uh, sad uh, side of this social media or this whatsapp or other apps that we have in our market now the thing is uh, see i'll tell you one thing right uh, that it's not entirely out of uh, this subject but it is very important for you to understand as well Uh, observe in your life you will have two friends right uh, take any two friends of yours right and i'll just give you one simple example then you can in your free time uh, take other things and then you can analyze it and this will this will be a very interesting uh, exercise uh, for your critical analysis skills as well as uh, it will help you with your life and it will help you with other things as well with your preparation and other thing now just take a random movie a movie called xyz two friends of yours right uh, one has uh, watched this movie and the second one uh, as well this person will tell you that this movie is 
one of the best movie that he or she has ever seen and this person is saying that this is the worst movie you should not waste your money after this movie now based on the profile of these two people right uh, you will take a decision whether you will go for it or whether you will not go for it if this person say for example is a movie lover uh, he or she has watched many movies right uh, different uh, genre of movies hollywood and indian movies or maybe south korean movies and you know so this person has a good variety of knowledge about movies and this person is not having right just a rough example here whom will you believe you will believe this person isn't it uh, most of the time we will believe this person even if the comments are very negative generally speaking negative comments are something because the way our mind is designed uh, we will pick up this negative or this alertness giving comments first or ideas first anyways so this is how it works uh, right rumors right you have this strong emotion this strong fear that your kids uh, will be lifted so this is a very you can say this is the main you can say core or, or a thing that is generating this fear as well as strong emotion fear of course is a strong emotion now there are there will be few people's right a whatsapp is just a tool right it's just a tool you have to understand this thing uh, even this uh, newspaper or this particular item is not going that far uh, because of course it is not analyzing things we have to analyze here and we have to understand this is something that is very important for your examination because you are preparing to become a civil servant isn't it uh, so you will be in future tackling this sort of situation so kidnapping strong emotion then uh, your kids involved strong emotion whatsapp just a tool now if whatsapp is working this beautifully if it can spread this uh, messages or it can create this idea virus then why can't we stop uh, this uh, uh, th things like rapes in our country right we can spread these messages so the thing is there are there will be few people out there right uh, who will be active in this uh, message spreading and uh, once you stop them see how it works is that uh, anything that goes viral right it has to reach a tip it has to reach or cross this threshold once it crosses crosses this threshold then it becomes a sort of tipping point right it's called tipping point once it reach here then it will it will blast something similar is taking place with this thing as well we need to get best minds right uh, rather than just stopping whatsapp and you cannot literally stop because all these messages are encrypted so how you are going to stop them the other thing is what about privacy so these are the things uh, so this is in a wrong direction we are heading we need to get the best minds and we need to uh, pass the right message at right time right administration local administration is responsible for all these things uh, if we find this uh, this type of lines that uh, police are being overpowered by mobs then something is wrong with our system right uh, this should not take place at all the irony in tripura is that this is a very sad thing imagine a person who is hired by the state government to spread awareness against precisely such rumors is the one who was lynched can you believe this thing and rumors are again one more thing uh, that can you can add is that rumors right uh, has historically found its own way around communication wall it's not that uh, you need whatsapp to spread rumors uh, we have seen this sort of rumors earlier on as well where we were not having any sort of digital platforms so it is uh, how effective our local administration is uh, whether we are uh, hiring the best mind uh, to counter this sort of uh, messages that are going on and this also indicates uh, you know uh, the state of our society uh, the people the violence uh, that is there in our people this is a clear reflection of this thing so there are multiple ways through which we have to work or else uh, this sort of things will continue uh, with this uh, you can also see here this uh, particular picture was uh, displayed in the first page of uh, today's the hindu so you will find that one lakh 
Black plus crimes uh, takes place against children in our country. And out of that, uh, nearly 50% or more than 50% crimes are associated with a uh, child abduction case. So moving on to another item, this is about allies interrupted. Now, JCPOA, that is uh, this Iran nuclear deal, you know, USA has uh, stepped out of it. USA has also passed this Katsa that basically will, Katsa is a law that will apply sanctions on all those countries uh, that are dealing with all those countries that are considered as threat to USA. I hope I have not confused you here. Let me clarify it. So you know that uh, USA and Russia, right? They are arch rivals. So Katsa will say, for example, you have India here. So if India is uh, dealing with uh, Russia after this application of Katsa, then sanctions will be applied on India as well. So these things, right? Uh, Iran nuclear deal and uh, Katsa are, of course, directly affecting our interest because uh, Iran is uh, energy supplier of our country. Apart from that, we have invested in Jabahar port, international north-south trade corridor, access to extended neighborhood that is uh, uh, Central Asia. Uh, then you have uh, access to Afghanistan via Jabahar port, uh, relationship with uh, Afghanistan. Uh, we have cultural relationship with uh, Iran as well. As far as Russia is concerned, it has been a very old friend of ours, right, uh, Russia. It has been a major defense uh, uh, supplier as well, a defense product supplier to our country. And uh, this stand of uh, USA is definitely going to disrupt uh, this. Uh, it is going to create more cracks because India, we have clearly... Uh, means it's not just we have uh, rejected this uh, threats coming from USA. We have in fact uh, said that we are going to increase the purchase of uh, oil from Iran or pet petroleum products from Iran and we have uh, uh, also planned uh, to buy some defense products from Russia. So this is something that is not going to make USA a bit happy. Nikki Haley, the lady that you can see on your screen, uh, she is US envoy to United Nations. And uh, she was here in our country and she said that uh, we need to revise our relationship with Iran. This is something that uh, USA has always done, right? USA has traditionally applied pressure. It works as a global cop, right? A super cop uh, that is, you know, showing this lati to every citizen that's how uh, usa has been if uh, something that is not in their interest then they will ask us or force other people or other countries to get in line and to stay with usa this is because they have they are about because you know this it's a big market first of all usa is a big market the other thing is they have invested in generally speaking uh every country right uh, they you find mcdonald's and coca-cola and so many other usa companies finance and industries and there, are, there is a long list so this is how they dominate right uh, apart from that uh, we as far as our actions are concerned uh, during this uh, recently concluded shangri-la dialogue we have said clearly that uh, our foreign policy is based on strategic autonomy now, I have explained strategic autonomy to you a couple of days ago. So, here is a question for you guys. If you are a regular student, then I'm sure you would, it will be very easy for you to answer this uh, question. Explain the meaning of this term strategic autonomy as briefly as possible, of course. Uh, stick your answer in the comment section of uh, this lecture. Now, uh, we had an uh, informal meetings uh, or summits with... Uh, uh, Chinese president as well as Russian president. We have invited uh, Iranian president to Delhi and this is again as you can uh, figure out right uh, something that will not make USA that happy about and uh, here you have uh, this uh, page that you find in international page of uh, this in fact a picture that you find in international page of the Hindu uh, and the title goes like uh, India is trying to, India and USA, they are trying to mend. That means uh, to repair this relationship. Uh, here you will find detail of this uh, Trump's trillion dollar 
trade war with different countries you can see european union china india canada then you have this malaysia and south korea uh, then you have this uh, north korea and you know this is south korea beg your pardon this is uh, malaysia and this is mexico so have a quick glance over it and they are all there is also this thing called nafta you should be aware about the full form of this thing called nafta or agreement that is nafta nav why we need governors uh, governors or lieutenant governors uh, the question here is uh, are they just for or this particular post is just for ceremonial duties only to to visit uh, different places to you know to receive president or other important dignitaries to see of them and things like that or is it something more than that we are not uh, talking about uh, things that you learn or read in uh, this indian polity book by lakshmi kant it's where it's a very famous of course a very good book as well so other technical details uh, associated with this governor's position you can read it from this book or there are other books as well i have uh, read this book so i know uh, that it is a good book apart from that you can also consult uh, subhas kasyap's uh, uh, constitution and other books written by other uh, writers it's up to you i'm just giving you a couple of names right so this big question and one of the reason is as you know that uh, in the past recently we have seen this uh, lieutenant governor and delhi's chief minister issue uh, karnataka issue was there vajubai wala then you have uh, in 2017 as well governor was in news for various different reasons not good most of the time so the big question is do we need this position or uh, shall we get rid of it now the thing is back in 1946 uh, mahatma gandhi he met uh, frederick burroughs now frederick burroughs was the last governor of undivided and communally disturbed uh, bengal Uh, undivided basically means uh, that it was just one bengal right uh, today we have bangladesh as a country and then we have west bengal so uh, this region was just bengal at that point of time and frederick burroughs was uh, this region's governor now basically when mr gandhi met frederick burroughs he said that uh, uh, what means frederick said uh, what would you like me to do and gandhi ji said nothing your excellency when he said that nothing your excellency or nothing basically gandhi ji uh, what he meant was that uh, at that point of time popular government headed by a chief minister was already installed and british uh, declared to quit india so uh, gandhi ji was basically trying to say this thing that let this representative government do its own duty but uh, was gandhi ji trying to say that governors are unnecessary not at all because uh, gandhi ji's advice was consistent with this walter uh, bighorts dictum that crown or crown basically when they are talking about england they say crown you know the role of queen it is something similar to the president of our country but president or governor or lieutenant governor or the crown they have the right to be consulted right to encourage right to warn but not to be the engine of government they cannot interfere but they are there you know uh, it's like uh, i'll give you a rough example it's like your grandparents uh, right uh, they are not going out to earn money right uh, they are not economically active i'm just giving a rough example but they are very important they work like a tree uh, for a family right uh, they give you fruits they give you shade they give you they protect you from scorching sun uh, so and if you need any advice because they have this long experience and rich life experiences uh, you can always uh, approach them and ask for some advice something similar applies to our governors and presidents as well now governors in their detached position because they are not directly involved but they are there they are looking everything that is going on so they are not involved they are not occupied like ministers and mps or mlas they are detached and because they are detached they can see everything that is going on so they can 
uh, provide you a good perspective as well as uh, they can also warn you if you are making any mistakes so this is a very important role of governor the other thing is that uh, they should be given enough power and this are the words or these are the lines coming from mahatma gandhi himself right he wrote this thing in this newspaper called Harijan, somewhere around in 1947, that governors should have enough power enabling them to influence ministerial policy for the better. If a particular policy is not uh, right or if a little bit of morality is lacking in that thing, then governors or presidents, they can add this thing. So they should be empowered enough. The other thing is, uh, they, as I told you already, right, just like our grandparents, like Nana Nanis and Dada Dadis, uh, they can add uh, moral voltage and they can make sure that things are right and wrongness are eliminated and this sort of things. And uh, the big problem that we find in our country is that most of the time we see politicians, right? Uh, politicians who are not able to make uh, to these positions of MLAs or, uh, you know, you have two different branches. One is your party side and the other side is the government side. So once uh, your party's government has been formed then few people will uh, become MLAs and you know the thing how it works right so not everyone becomes a MLA or chief minister so to say thank you to these politicians right who have served this party very well you find this is sad but that's what uh, we see in our country that they are made uh, this governors uh, so it's we should not limit this position of governor to just politicians right uh, we can have men and women from all different walks of life uh, from education commerce administration science medicine law and other backgrounds and we sh need to find these well wishers who are genuinely interested in serving uh, our country you know uh, people who are uh, who have proved uh, their metal uh, and we should see them as a strength and not a threat uh, for elected uh, governments. Uh, so this is a very important thing that we need to do. I'm sure you are aware about this thing, but again, for new students, I would like to highlight this thing here. The chief ministers and prime ministers are head of the governor uh, of the government, but governors and presidents are head of the state. They are very important. The other thing is that. Uh, on top we have our citizens right citizens are the king in democracy and uh, chief ministers we expect our chief ministers to act uh, conscientiously and we uh, we expect our governors to act constitutionally this is a very important line here that chief ministers should act or elected uh, representatives they should act uh, conscientiously but when it comes to governor they have to make sure that all this constitutional uh, rules and regulations as well as ethos and morality and everything is followed so this is what we expect and if we find this uh, fine balance right if we, if we see that good people becoming governor or governors or LGs then we find that uh, uh, this will in fact add value to our constitution and our polity with this uh, you we reach here yes no and it's complicated is India's foreign policy adrift so this one is a negative or this one is a yes sayer view so we find this uh, in this article we will find you know that uh, positive negative and some suggestions so let me take you through negative ones we know this thing that uh, uh, China is uh, expanding its arms uh, and uh, deepening its roots in South Asian part of uh, our region so this is a big threat for our country. We have literally lost this game, right, uh, when it comes to China and South Asia region. The other thing is non-aligned movement. Uh, we were founding member of this NAM, but uh, Prime Minister Modi uh, decided to skip this meeting of 2016. And since then, we have seen that uh, this uh, non-aligned movement group is in a sort of hibernate uh, mode. So we have lost this uh, respect as per this uh, view and to some extent it is right as well that non-aligned movement uh, has been a soft power for us uh, but because we are not giving that much importance uh, this non-aligned countries are also this NAM member countries are not giving that much importance to 
us as well and we are we have also seen that uh, old partners like russia they have started anti terror exercise with pakistan called uh, drubza 2017 the yes sir we find that of course uh, we have to agree on this thing that uh, prime minister narendra modi has changed uh, the the face you know uh, this nris they feel happy about uh, being indian earlier on there was a bit of shame associated because so many things were going wrong and international media used to make uh, print all these negative things about india but now you have this good things and we find that uh, uh, people are very curious about india they see india as a rising power and things like that you might have watched many videos on youtube and many articles as well are written on it and we can see this change you know the way things are been dealt at this uh, this meetings that uh, pm uh, conducts with nris and uh, this enthusiasm in nris and all these things earlier on this was something that we was not uh, there at all uh, as far as our diplomacy is concerned uh, we have developed a good relationship uh, with uh, many different countries uh, pm has in fact visited 55 countries and uh, our main uh, you can say this two areas where indian foreign policy has leapfrogged is cultural and commercial diplomacy as far as uh, global ranking dice, uh, indexes or indices are concerned uh, we have seen improvement and fdi flow has improved as well uh, some items that we need to be careful about is that uh, at present we are going through diplomatic security and strategic challenges so we are facing all these three things together you know the relationship uh, or the things going on with usa we have just talked about it russia we have talked about it earlier on Uh, then we have china uh, then india is of course you know when it comes to china we saw this no clam thing as far as gdp is concerned we are far behind china somewhere around five times uh, uh, china's gdp is bigger than us uh, military expenditure is bigger than us uh, somewhere around three times nuclear supply uh, supplies group we haven't got entry yet uh, seychelles we know recently this assumption island we have talked about it united nations security council still we are not a permanent member of this thing but on the good side indo pacific region is uh, something that uh, uh, over here we are going to be a very important player relationship with japan asean countries and gulf countries are also getting stronger and stronger with this difference of frying democracy this is about a country called uh, cambodia you see here it is part of this asean group right uh, the capital is nom phen and you find an important river called mekong you have to spend some time behind this country right uh, open your atlas book and also see this gulf of uh, thailand and uh, also locate strait of malacca how far it is from india and things like that now we have seen or the people of this cambodia have they have you know forefathers have gone through a very rough phase of dictatorial regime where 20000 men women and children were killed by this khmer's rogue dictatorial regime at present you have this uh, hun sen who is the longest uh, serving prime minister in the world right uh, from last uh, 33 years he has been ruling this country of cambodia and uh, he has cleared his field as well so opposition is very weak as far as this uh, investment and gdp is concerned uh, cambodia is growing but human rights uh, are records are very bad over here india has uh, limited itself uh, with cambodia only with uh, economic and cultural cooperation uh, but usa and europe uh, they have warned uh, cambodia and uh, many times we find different sanctions have been applied on cambodia because of this sort of regime with this dear friends before we move on to news item i have a very important thing to discuss with you guys we have launched our UPSC pen drive and tablet courses dear friends the price of this pen drive and tablet courses is just 22500 rupees the good thing is that you can study anywhere your classroom will be with you all the time you don't have to migrate to a metro city spend or give more than 2 lakh rupees uh, for uh, as coaching fees you don't have to pay high rents and traveling expenses and other things you can stay with your family with your loved ones right and you can prepare for civil services because our pen drive and tablet courses are designed by the best faculties of our country to take an informed decision check out studyiq.com with this uh, law commission of india has suggested that we need to legalize this betting right gambling should be legalized and if you ask me personally then i would say yes 
I'm sure we know this thing that uh, illegal betting takes place and uh, no tax is received by government. This is something that Law Commission has said and I think I agree with this thing that it is going to be nearly impossible for us to stop illegal gambling because we have WhatsApp and mobile phone and everything. So rather than making it illegal, let's make it legal and make or uh, earn some tax out of it. We can come out with some proper laws, right? Uh, anyways, uh, people are going to be rich, people are going to lose everything because gambling is such a thing. But uh, we can regulate it, we can make some rules and regulations. And then you can have, uh, you can create jobs as well. And uh, it will work as an investment for different sports and different games. With this, uh, Taiwan protests against the use of Chinese Taipei on Air India website. Of course, uh, Taiwan will uh, be, you know, annoyed with uh, this sort of uh, words that are used by Air India. And uh, then you find... Uh, this item in the first page of uh, Economic Times, a big disruption is announced. When I said disruption, I mean to say that uh, Geo or Reliance has uh, announced that they are going to enter this broadband market as well. It's called uh, Geo Giga uh, Broadband or something. Uh, right, uh, help yourself with the correct name. It's going to be around us anyways. So it's going to be a big thing. Uh, they are going to provide us... Uh, important you know this uh, broadband line fast internet and as per Mukesh Ambani he said that our rank as far as broadband is concerned around the world is 136th but uh, introduction of geo broadband uh, will take us to top five position so big change uh, is just around the corner they are also going to come out with this POS system and other items as well shopping online shopping so many things uh, that Geo is going to bring out. And then you find this uh, deep discount and much more. Russia wants us to become partner in missile building and it's going to offer us, uh, you know, it is going to transfer this technology and many other things to make sure that India sticks with Russia as far as this defense procurements are concerned. That's everything in today's discussion, dear friends. These are your two answers. These are your two questions. Uh, check out studyiq.com to find out more about our pen drive and tablet courses and i would personally reckon you guys to get this test series of uh, study iq right uh, many questions i have contributed as well right uh, questions that you find in your upsc prelims examination that's everything do share this lecture hit the like button god bless you all enjoy your day jai hind